Hey, John. John. Hey, Mark. How's it going? Where are you right now? I'm in Bangkok. I uh, escaped the nine to five. I'm on my grind set. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. How'd you do that? Oh, it was super easy. All I had to do was set up a passive revenue stream. And then that funded a lifestyle where I can just travel all the time. That sounds pretty hard. I don't think everybody is able to do that. That's because they're thinking with a scarcity mentality, John. All you have to do is make about 8000 a month, but don't have a job because that takes up too much time. So, you know, get Patreon or like um, buy some property and then rent it on Airbnb. Those all sound pretty hard to pull off. I mean, not everybody can just buy property and rent it out for Airbnbs. That's pretty hard. No, no, it's easy. You just buy you just buy property and then you the Airbnb app you just go on and like you fill it out and then you you can like set your price and then and then just rent it. How much do you know about how most people actually live? What, what do you mean actually live? Most people can't buy property in a foreign country. You just have to open a corporation and then marry somebody who lives in that country and then um and then you can buy property. Nobody can do that. Not a lot of people can afford to just go to Thailand and live in a freaking ball pit with cartoon statues behind them. And even fewer people are able to buy property through marriage in a foreign country. You said it was easy. Nobody can do that. Um, well, you can be like a top tier computer programmer or like UX person. Like just be the best at whatever it is that you do. Like be the top 1% of it. And then like, they pay you it's good oh that that sounds pretty fucking hard man i i gotta be honest i i mean you're just you're thinking all wrong about this all right like well if, by like, definition only one percent of people can do what you're doing i uh have some thai pokemon cards that i think we should unlock okay yeah let's see it yeah i'm excited to check them out I used to love these things when I was a kid. Me too. I know they're like, they go in and out of popularity, but I just think they're fun. I actually like the art. They have all sorts of different illustrators that, that do the work. And the typography using Thai letters is actually really beautiful. It uses a lot of swirls and uh, curves that we don't have in English. So where should I start? What do you want me to open first? Do the starter pack and then we'll do the promo last. Hey Mark, yeah. What does what does plaque what does plaque mean in Thai? It's uh, Thai for play. Wait, it, does that actually say play? Yeah. Oh, this building is crazy. It's like a fucking <laughs> utopia for man children. I know. I, it really does feel like it's specifically designed for extremely wealthy digital nomads. The interior design is a little too young. But the architecture is really awesome. Like the way that they set this up um, to use the top floors of this building, I think is so cool. Like it's accessible to everybody in the building, even if they're not in a penthouse, you know, so they can go to the right. gym or like cook dinner or do things. Um, a lot of other buildings just have like, you know, AC units and stuff on the roof. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, it looks like a beautiful building. I, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure half of it is just Airbnbs. Like, basically, just giant company bought a bunch of units. So, basically, they're they're the ones who are living the grind set. So, just have a few million dollars to buy real estate and make Airbnbs. Yeah, exactly. Buy a block of rooms. Do literally nothing. Buy literally the cheapest bedding and everything that you can and then when your hosties are staying don't don't respond to them at all and then price out actual thai people so that they can't live here anyway here can you hear this no you can't hear what's it smell like 
Dude, it smells really familiar, but I don't know. Like almost like a scratch and sniff, but I don't know what. It probably just smells like adhesive. Yeah, probably that's what it is. Or the box. So I can't speak Thai yet. So um, I will we'll have to do our best with guessing. Here's like game pieces. These are like your health if you've ever played. Um, so it's kind like... of interesting. One thing that's kind of weird is the Pokemon logo is in English, not in Japanese. And presumably they wouldn't be able to read it anyway. So why didn't they just put it in Japanese? Tons of stuff here is in English. English is just so pervasive that it's like, used all the time like all over the world even if you weren't colonized it, it the world is dominated by english yeah i guess that makes sense i'm actually looking online and even the japanese pokemon cards have an are english on the back which is really strange but there is a japanese logo for pokemon that is in japanese it's kind of interesting i thought this was going to be a game board but it's not what is it Oh, we don't know because we can't read Thai. This must be what it's like going through your life every single day. You just don't know what's going on half the time. Pretty much. Since I'm old, I I really only know the original ones. So I tried to get some cards that have the original guys, but already I don't recognize this first one. But you might be able to help me out. Oh, Hitmon Top. It's in English, right? No. No. It is Hitmon Top, though. Hitmon top? Is that like yeah. a younger Hitmon chan? No, it's just a different one. I know what that is. I like this one. It's cute. Crap inch. It's Vi that's Vibrava, I think. Yeah. And then that last one is Flygon. See, I really like like look at this style of this one. That's a completely different artist for sure, right? I think Isn't so. That? Or if if it's not a completely different, it's certainly a different art style. That's like I mean, that's obvious. Yeah, I don't know if they have different artists. That's a good, I know that they must, right? They must have a few. Well, I have a book. They definitely have, like, they actually commission really good illustrators um, that are, like, famous sometimes to do some of the work. I have, like, a book on it. Have you seen the guy Josh Dunlop? Uh, I don't think so. He is a concept artist, and he did, like, these hyper-real Pokemon renditions. You've probably seen them. And, uh... Pokemon, the company actually ended up hiring him to make more Pokemon because his like fan art was so freaking good. That's cool. That makes sense. This just looks like a human. Why would they have? Why do they have a human? Dude, I don't like human Pokemon. It creeps me out. I think it's so wrong. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, this one's creepy too. That one's also a freaking. That's just a dude. That's a naked dude in a cloud. <laughs> Oh, I know uh, this one. Eevee. Old Faithful. That's cool. What's that See, one? See, that's what What's I was hoping more? is like ones that I know, but in a different style. Um, okay, so just now they're just Pokeballs. Poke balls. Ultra Balls, Great Balls. Okay, and then it's going to be just a ton of... Uh, energies. Energies. Do you know that's this just, guy? Yeah, it's Lucario. I know all of them. That's Lucario. Dude, they're all just a bunch of humanoid man men that you can store in balls oh i know this and one you... Lap lapras right yeah that's lapras look at him little cutie how about this one uh cast form i think oh okay so now we're doing water yeah i think i can't remember if that one's called float cell or weasel it's weasel that's float cell that Magikarp. is Basculin, and that one's Basculegion or Bascule. I don't freaking know. Basculegion. I'm kind of embarrassed that I know these. I should stop <laughs> saying what all of these Pokemon are because it's just not It's not a good look, man. I'm 34 <laughs> years old. Yeah, but they came out when we were kids. I mean, these, I don't know these because these were came out later, but not that much later. We were probably in high school, right? I guess um, I just, I still really feel like a soy boy right now, though. That's fine. I like this one. That one's new. That one's very new. That's like in the last three or four months. Basque oh, Legion, really? I think. Okay, now we've got a bunch of just... Uh... Oh, this one's cool. I like this one. 
Okay. These should be a little more fun. Hopefully we'll get something cool. You ready? Ready. This is one thing I like about Thailand that we don't have in the US. For some reason, everything opens here downwards instead of like how you have to tear everything out. Like chip bags and everything open like this. That's so interesting. Why? Why don't they do that here? It makes that makes so much sense. I don't know. They do a lot of stuff here that doesn't make sense, but they do like they also have every toilet here has like a spray nozzle next to it so that you can like spray down yourself or spray down the toilet or whatever. I don't know why the US doesn't have it. Okay, so I've seen videos and they know how to like Oh yeah, that okay. So this is what they do. They're like, "Oh, I know where the secret card is." So they reshuffle it and then they do this, okay? Oh. But I did it wrong. That's nuts, man. I th I have no idea how rare that is, but that's like one of the best Pokemon in the actual game. Really? What's it called? Yeah. I'm not telling you. It's, I don't know. I actually don't even know. I don't. I have no idea what that is. This looks more like a Power Rangers thing. It's a legendary Pokemon. Actually, I don't even know that. I, I I'm totally making that up. Oh snap! I've seen this guy before. I don't. Yeah, remember. I think that was Generation Two or Three. I can't remember. I just liked it because it looks very industrial designy. Yeah, these are all legendary Pokemon. So the first one was Groudon. The second one was Kyogre, and I can't remember what this one's called. I think like Reshi Ram or something. Yeah, Reshi Ram. We got shiny we even energy. Got a shiny energy. What is that? Oh. This one is this one is later on. This one's like Gen six or seven, I think. Um, I think it's Lunala or something. Oh, uh -oh. okay. Well, this one again. Okay. And this one. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, this one's all different. right. Okay. That was the last actual Pokemon game that I bought. They do kind of look like robots, don't they? Yeah, like like Power Rangers style. I guess I can find another one. Ooh, that's cool. I just really like shiny foil. I really, really like it a lot. I don't know if that means I'm a simpleton, but I don't really care. I just love it. Well, I for me, I know it has like very nostalgic feelings. Because yeah. it was like a big deal to find a card like that. Damn, the background on that one is so cool. Yeah, this one kind of matches that other one here. Yeah, they're like, they're each other's counterparts. Yeah, they're like, I think if you bought, I don't know this for sure. I'm pretty sure if you bought one game, you get the legendary on the left. And then if you bought the other game, you got the legendary on the right. Kind of like in Pokemon Red and Blue when there were different Pokemon. Here's the earlier one to that other one. <laughs> yep. I can't remember what that's called. Oh, this is the coolest one. Okay, we got two really cool ones at then. Oh, damn. That's a really cool one. I think that one's called Xerneas. It looks like uh, that movie with Natalie Portman with the with the aliens that take over. And, um, that thing's so dope. I can't remember what it's called, though. It looks like a moth. It's just a really evil bird. Wait, is this the he head or is this the head? The thing at the top is the head. Oh, okay. The, I was the like, first this thing is like a moth thing. Yeah, it's a weird bird. We should really have done our research on this. <laughs> okay. Last one. Promo. You ready? Oh, yeah. They gave me this one. When I bought the other one, they, they said we have a promo starting tomorrow. But here, you can have it. And they pulled it out from under the counter and gave it to me a day early. How did you pull that off? Was Gift with you? Because you don't speak Thai. Most of the time I speak English, but they said it's a gift. Oh, oh, this is good. I'm really glad that they were nice. They gave this to me. I'm going to get it out without it. Uh, Okay, you ready, John? Yeah. Okay, here yeah. it is. Oh, look at little Pikachu Pokemon Go. What's he carrying? A little present? A little gift. Anyway, that's all I had. I have nothing to unbox. I'm ashamed. They're pretty cool in my opinion. I've I've never seen these before, and I'm really impressed by just the level of the artwork and like the foil stuff and pretty much everything about them is is just really well done.